when a pediatrician hears the word lead, we, we freak out. It's a potent, irreversible neurotoxin. This was a city, this was a people, this was a problem that the government chose not to see and chose to ignore for too long. So in April of 2014, Flint changed their water source from fresh pre-treated Great Lakes water to the Flint River. But that Flint River water wasn't being treated properly. It was brownish and greenish and yellowish and it smelled funny and it tasted even worse. And I was a pediatrician practicing in Flint, caring for children and very much reassuring my patients that the water was safe. They'd ask me, is it okay for me to mix my baby's bottled you know, formula, the powdered formula with this water? And of course I, I told them the water's okay. This is America. There's rules and regulations to make sure that our water is safe. walked into the public and shared that research. Um, and right away I was attacked, dismissed, discredited. The state said I was wrong, unfortunate, and hysterical. And for a moment I, I believed them. Um, but, but the kids, my patients, really gave me courage to fight back. Really, it's, it's people who've rolled up their sleeves from throughout the city in, in many different sectors and said we've had enough and resisted. And that's one of the reasons I wrote this book. There are kids all over this nation, black, brown, white, rural, urban, that wake up every day to the same toxicities. To this day in Flint, we are still on filtered and bottled water as our damaged lead pipes are being replaced because that takes time. But we have built a model public health program. Our clinic is on the second floor of a farmer's market. We're across from the central bus stop. We have a social worker. We have books for literacy support. We have all of these wraparound services that go beyond the realm of medicine to make sure that our children not only recover, but thrive. And the really neat thing is that we've begun to export our hope. We are sharing our best practices with communities all over because like I said, the story of Flint is not isolated, and we're hoping to make an impact way beyond Flint. <laughs>